What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. A big thank you for joining me on another video right here on YouTube. So recently I have started to download some of the weird and wonderful tactics that are available for FM23. I've been putting them through some single season sims to see just how good they are. Now we've had some elite tactic testing, we've had some non-league tactic testing. Today we are on a full power tactic test. I'm going to put this tactic in the hands of three European giants and see just how good it can be. As always we're going to show you the tactic with the positions the in possession the out of possession and the in transition and then we'll break down all those important results we're already on manchester city so let's jump into the tactics tab there we can see this tactic is the 4222 dawid plv2 this is a very popular shape in fm23 this year there are quite a few variations on this tactic but let's start to break this one down so it starts off with a sweeper keeper on attack you have a wing back on support on the left. Two ball playing defenders in the centre set to defend. And on the right you have a wing back on support. Two Segundo Volantes in the middle of the park. On the wide left you have an inside forward on attack. On the right you have another inside forward on attack. And at the top of the pitch you have two advanced forwards set to attack. So the tactic is a 4-2-2-2 by description. It could be a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-4, depending on how you want to look at it. Tactical style is Iniesta and Dawa. 4-1-3-2, David Piel. Its mentality is balanced. In possession, looks like this. In transition, looks like this. Out of possession, looks like this. So it's a popular shape and David has produced some other tactics which I have covered on the channel already. Is this one going to be powerful in the Premier League? If we go into the competitions tab, we can see that it has won the league by 20 points from Chelsea, 21 back to Liverpool. In the Champions League, they were knocked out in the semi-finals by PSG. What's interesting is PSG are also running this tactic. In the FA Cup, knocked out by Aston Villa in the quarter-finals. Carabao Cup they won and they beat Liverpool at the start of the season. So let's look at that. 3-0 in that game. Carabao Cup they went to the final and they beat West Ham 4-2 there. Knocked out in these two competitions. So let's break down the Premier League. If we go to the stages tab we can see that they have played 38. Winning 32. Drawing 2. They did lose 4. Scored 142 goals which is mightily impressive. Conceded 37, had a goal difference of 105 and scored 98 points. Just two off of being Centurions. As I said, they won the league by 20 points and it was 21 back to Liverpool. If we go into the profile page, we can see Erling Haaland getting himself 49 goals on the season. An 8.16 average rating with De Bruyne 7.58, Alvarez 7.45. De Bruyne got 24 assists in a single season. Haaland got 13 Player of the Match awards. Edison kept 17 clean sheets. And luckily for us, discipline not an issue with this tactic. So, a perfect start to the tactic test. Manchester City winning the league convincingly. They won the Carabao Cup and they won the Community Shield. Let's cross over to PSG and see how they've got on. They have been just as impressive, scoring 106 points, winning the league by 28 points from Monaco. If you go into the competitions tab, we can see they finished runner-up in the Champions League. They finished as winners of the Coupe de France, and they won the Trophy des Champions. So let's break that down first. They beat Nantes 4-0 in that. Coupe de France, they won 6-1 against Marseille in the final. In the Champions League, they finished runners-up by losing to Barcelona, who also run this tactic on penalties. And if we look at their league, you can see from the stages tab that they were invincible. They were one game away from winning everything and winning every game that they played in, or certainly one game away from winning everything. Um, PSG, let's break that down then. 38 games played. 34 games won, 4 draws, no losses, 147 goals they scored, only conceded 24, had a goal difference of 123 and they had 106 
points. Absolutely fantastic. Go to the profile page. We can see Mbappe got 49 goals. Messi got 34. So that's an 83 goal pairing for them two. Mbappe 8.07 rating. Messi 7.75. Neymar 7.62. Neymar got 21 assists, Sarabia got 17, Mbappe 14 player of the match awards and Messi 7, Donnarumma 17 clean sheets and we've got Hakimi down here on 4.93 dribbles per 90 minutes. So fantastic season for PSG, they nearly won everything, nearly winning all the games that they played in those competitions. Uh, let's have a look at Barcelona. Can they make it three from three? They have indeed, and they have done it convincingly. 101 points, Centurions in Spain. Let's have a look at the competitions tab. So they won the league by six points from Real Madrid. They won the Champions League. We know that already beating PSG. They were knocked out in the semi-finals of the Copa del Rey by Real Madrid, and they were knocked out in the semi-finals of the Copa de España by Real Madrid also. So knowing that they have won the Champions League, let's just go into La Liga Santander and go to the stages tab. And we can see Barcelona played 38 games. They won 33 of them. Drew two, lost three, scored 131 goals, conceded 35, had a 96 goal difference and had a 101 point haul in terms of the points uh real madrid 95 six back there so impressive for barcelona to become centurions if we go to the profile screen you can see Lewandowski getting 36 league goals to pi 26 Lewandowski of 7.78 average rating to pi 7.46 dembele got 17 assists pedri 11 and fatty 11 Lewandowski 10 player of the match awards to pi 8 clean sheets though we have to go down to fifth place for Ter Stegen. He got 12 of those. Yellow cards, not an issue for discipline with this tactic here. And nothing in the bottom three there. So absolutely fantastic to see all of the teams absolutely dominate their leagues. And you can see why this is a brilliant tactic. Absolute great work by Dawid going out and putting this together because he has got it spot on with Man City winning everything that they won PSG needed wrapping up everything and Barcelona winning the one trophy that PSG didn't win whilst also beating Real Madrid to the Liga it's an absolutely fantastic season for them right then if you're still with me at this point of the video firstly a big thank you secondly if you don't mind hitting the like and subscribe button to help the channel I really do appreciate everybody who takes the time to do that it's been such a pleasure watching the channel grow across the past couple of months really cannot thank you all enough for making that happen before you go don't forget to check out the rest of the channel for other content we have other tactic tests there's let's plays rebuilds uh, we've got a bit of wonder kids hints tips tutorials a bit of something for everybody on the channel but for this one i'm going to wrap it up there big thank you for watching i'll see you on another video soon